It's now 8.30. This is Radio 2 on 1500 metres and VHF. Ladies and gentlemen, the organist entertains. And a big hello from your old organ grinder friend, Robin Richmond. Well, quite an unusual show for you tonight, Organ Nuts, including two historic names in the cinema organ world, Frank Newman and Jack Hellier. Also, Reginald Fort, Alec Leader, Andy Fenner, Keith Beckingham, our mystery guest, and this great old recording of the portrait of the toy, toy soldiers made by William Davis on the BBC Moller when it was still in the possession of the BBC. <laughs> Davis on the BBC Moller when it was in the Jubilee Chapel there in the East End of London, Portrait of the Toy Soldiers. Our guest tonight is a very well-known broadcaster, and although he has nostalgic connections with the organ world, you don't actually play, do you, JP? I don't, I'm afraid, Robin. Uh, not in public, anyway. In private, I love to enjoy myself. Well, friends, so that you can identify this very well-known voice... Will you announce the next item for us? I'd be delighted to, Robin. And to introduce Alec Leader at the Granada Clapham Junction with that old favourite, You Forgot to Remember.
Ada, you forgot to remember at the Granada Clapton Junction. Now, just before we turn the clocks back to the days of Frank Newman, Jack Hellier, and Midland Console, mm -hmm. and that should give you a clue to our guest tonight. It certainly should, Robert. Yeah. Now, here's our review record. On the Ad Rhythm label, played by Keith Beckingham, the album is called Hammond Million Sellers No. 2. <laughs> from the new Ad Rhythm LP by Keith Beckingham. Well now, these days, JP, you're more concerned with motoring than with organs, but as the BBC producer and presenter of that famous series of organ broadcasts called Midland Console, what do you think of this record, James Pestridge? I must say, Robin, that I enjoyed it immensely. I think it's uh, a very good track that you've chosen there. A good, clean tempo version with a uh, nice colourful registration on the Hammond A100. And I did enjoy a little bit of the Piper Hammond, the honky-tonky piano, which they put in uh, with the music, music, music number. Mm. Um, this, I think, adds to the colour and the effect. I enjoyed it very much. Well, I think, I agree with you. I think it's a jolly good record, and there are ten tracks on it and all sorts, so I can't list the titles because they're all so well known. But it is, in fact, on the Ad Rhythm label, and the number is ARPS1014. Ad Rhythm ARPS1014. Well now, James, before we get talking about the old days, from the electronics to a, a historic pipe organ, you remember Jack Hellier, of course? I do indeed. Well, Jack, if you're listening tonight, hello, and I hope it's all going well, because he's still up there in Nottingham. I believe he is, yeah. and uh, I don't suppose he's walking quite as much as he was in those days. I believe it was... Um, I'm happy when I'm hiking. I'm happy, happy when, when I'm, I'm hiking, hiking yes. yes. <laughs> Well, let's hear a tune from Jack Hellier from the Ritz, or the Odeon as it's called, the conical organ up there, and it is in fact a medley of Sousa marches. <laughs>
historic record or recording of Jack Hellier playing the Ritz-Odeon Conica up in um, Nottingham there, one of your recordings, Jim, in the Midland console series. It was indeed, and uh, I remember that organ well and the fun we used to have in the theatre there when we went over to record with Jack. What Delightful the character who, you know, was so helpful too. Yeah. What was the date roughly of that, would you say? I would think that would be about 1956, 58, possibly, sometime around that period. I can't be quite sure. Mm. How, did, how did you become interested in this organ lark? Well, uh, I was always interested in piano and music, but the organ really came first into my BBC career in 1948 when I rose out of the pit on the Christie with John Maiden at the Granada in Rugby. We were doing a documentary programme there about the cinema and how it was run, and this really started my interest in the organ. And I was very glad to go back there with old Reggie Porter-Brown and quite a number of other people in later years and do Midland Console from that very organ. I wonder whether you included our next uh, well-known name, Andrew Fenner, in that series. We did, certainly. Andy appeared quite a number on quite a number of occasions, and uh, I can't remember which was the last organ he played. I think one down at Cheltenham we did at the Ritz at Cheltenham on oh. one occasion together. Well, here he's playing the organ in St John Varney's Church at Clay Hall, Ilford. It's a cinema organ. I'll tell you where it came from afterwards. And he's playing the Golden Silver Waltz. Thank you. 
look at that echo. A real cinema organ in a church. Gold and Silver Wars played in St. John Varney, Clay Hall, Ilford by Andrew Fenner. And that organ actually came from the Ritz Nuneaton gym. And that's a very interesting one. As a matter of fact, I've got my record sheets open here, and they are open at the Ritz Cinema Nuneaton when Trevor Willits was playing a 30-minute live programme for the light programme in May 1960. Nice. And that, I think, must have been about the last time that organ was on the air as a cinema organ. Well, that's most interesting. And, of course, Father Kerr, the, the, the priest there, he's a great sport, and... Uh, he, you know, all the drums and the traps and their... <laughs> He's still got them all, Oh, they? they're all there, yes. By the yes. way, we haven't greeted your family, a motorist, Jim. Ah, well, there are a lot of them, and I hope they're having a safe run tonight and enjoying this little bit of nostalgia. Oh, well, so do I. And now we go back to Jack Hellier at the um, uh, Ritz Odeon Conacher in Nottingham there. And, of course, he used to be a drummer. I don't know if that's got any connection with this title he wrote himself called Brush Off. <laughs> Jack Hellier, Brush Off, another historic recording from your series, Jim, mm. made at the Odeon Conacher up there in, in um, Nottingham. Now we come to another very big name, dear Frank Newman. Yes. And we greet you, Mrs Newman, if you're listening, as I think you are tonight in rugby. I certainly hope so, because Frank was the most delightful person to work with. He was always so relaxed at the console, and this, you know, made it a joy to go along and do a recording there. And this was at the uh, Plaza Rugby... This is rugby, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, let's listen once again to the dulcet tones of Frank Newman playing there, and the piece is uh, Liebesfreude.
Oh, that was delightful. That was um, Frank Newman playing the Christie organ at the Plaza Rugby many years ago, eh, Jim? It was indeed, yes, quite a long while ago. Well, I suppose, really, I'll take this opportunity of thanking you in the old days for all you did for the organ, because it's really back on its feet again, and... Uh, I'm so glad, because I really enjoy it. And yeah. your programme too, Robin, I think keeps it alive. Well, you saw it through at a, a very difficult time, and uh, there we are. Well, now we're going to finish today with another famous organist. I don't know if you ever had him on that series, Jim, as Reginald Fort. No, we never did, unfortunately. Well, he was over here, as you probably know, last year and he made a concert tour and this is a recording he made at the mosque in richmond virginia so to close our program here is reginald fort playing the giselle waltz <laughs> with the Giselle Waltz played by Reginald Fort on the Mosque Richmond Virginia organ. We end the show for tonight and thank you very much James Pestridge again for coming along. Now quite a few organ fixtures here Sunday next March the 5th at 3 p.m. at the Arthur Russell Organ Studios in Malvern and Reginald Porter Brown. Monday March the 6th 8 p.m. Carlton Forum Cinema Nottingham David Hamilton. Wednesday March the 8th in the evening not sure the time at the Manchester Town Hall on the beautiful five manual Cavalli Col Ernest Broadbent. And don't forget our big BBC show on Tuesday, the 14th of March at 7.30pm at the City Hall in Sheffield, organising the brass, where you can hear the Grimethorpe Colliery Band, the Wheatsheaf Girls Choir, Nicholas Danby at the organ, Ernest Broadbent at the theatre organ, and tickets are now on sale at Wilson Peck, right there in Sheffield. Well, that's about the lot from me, your old organ grinder, Robin Richmond. So, till our next merry meeting at the same time next week from me, Bye-bye now.